What is up YouTube, this is PZZSEN here, and today I've got a new Zippo video. Yeah, it's been a long time, I do apologize. It's been a long time since I've even gotten a new Zippo, but today I've actually got for you guys not just one, but two new Zippos. And as you can probably guess, they have come from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Can you see that? Smoky Mountain Knife Works, yeah. My family took a little night trip, a little weekend overnight trip down to Sevierville. We took a trip down to Sevierville for the weekend and just got back today. But on the way back, we, I actually made my family stop at the Smoky Mountain Knife Works because I really wanted to go back. I loved it the last time I went, so I really wanted to go back and experience it again. And it was just as amazing the second go around as it was the first go around. So if you've never been to Smoky Mountain Knife Works, I definitely recommend you guys get over to Tennessee as soon as possible and check it out because it is an awesome store. So I actually picked up a couple Zippos while I was there. My dad even picked up a Zippo, believe it or not. I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to show it off to you guys, but it was a little antique silver uh, Zippo logo type thing. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So as you can see, got the bag here. This is what their bags look like for those of you who've never seen them. You can see right down here it says Zippo, because they do sell Zippo stuff. I do believe this is all of the brands that they that they carry, if you want to take a look at that. Uh, I do apologize for some of the glare issues on here, but anyway, let's go ahead and let's get these out. So here we've got one, well here, let's see, let's go and get these out. So here we've got one, and dos. Yes, get this out of the way here. And let's check these two Zippos out. You can see we've got a new one and a raw the old one. Let's go ahead and let's actually start with this one first. This one, uh, if you go to Smoky Mountain Knife Works, they have a little tiny little section full of like what's basically new old stock, okay? This lighter is in brand new condition, but it's actually a very, very old lighter, as you can tell from the packaging. I actually don't have a Zippo that comes in this style packaging, so I was really excited about that. You can see on the bottom, the model number has been covered up. It actually just says assorted Zippo grab bag. As you can see, it was actually $9. Um, the Zippo itself, retail, is actually $22, so that is a really good deal right off the bat. And uh, I, I wish I could like peel this up and, and take a look behind there but I'm just I just know if I do I'm gonna rip up the uh, the model number so it's let's go ahead and let's check it out I believe this is going to be a copper slim yes that's right I bought a copper Zippo slim you know if I take this off one interesting thing is that some of the sticker kind of looks like it's sort of rotted off which is lovely but um, yeah check that out Let's go ahead and let's actually take what remains of the sticker off, which isn't very much. I'm definitely going to have to hit that up with some Goog on at some point. Um, probably not going to get to experience the ping to its fullest potential today, but you know what? It pings a little bit. There it is. They, uh, what I do believe is a Copper Zippo Slim. Very nice indeed. Ooh. Ooh, it still has a flint in there. I, I do not know how old that flint is. Probably going to want to replace that flint, actually, because those of you who may not know, Zippos tend to, when you have a flint in there for that long, they tend to degrade and fall apart, which can cause a lot of major issues that can actually prevent the lighter from working. So I'm definitely going to want to take this flint out and replace it with a brand new one before I start using it. I do actually want to use this one. I kind of want to see what... Uh, what copper will look like after it's been used. Has this been plated in copper? Is the insert copper plated? I'm gonna have to take a look at this in some better lighting, but the insert looks to have been copper plated because it seems to be one solid color. That is awesome. That is super interesting. Wow. Get the hell off of there, this bother me. Check that out. I do believe this is a copper plated insert. Now, if we take a look at the bottom stamp here, you will see We've got December of that, which I looked on my little Zippo dating code chart, and I believe that actually is for 1997. So this was made in December of 1997, but like I said, brand new condition. Let's go and take the, uh, well, you know, let's leave the price tag on there just for just for the fun of it. I'll probably peel that off at, at a later date and for myself, but um, yeah, whoops. And actually, here's a neat feature with these boxes. One thing that Zippo used to do with their boxes is that if you actually flip this all the way up, 
you'll see that it, it stops there, but this is actually, it can double as a display stand. So you can set this on like your nightstand or on your desk or something and actually proudly display your Zippo. Which is something that they don't do anymore, and I don't know why, because I really like that feature. I think it's just a nice little bonus, a nice little touch, a little, little something something to go with the uh, purchase of your Zippo. You can actually display it right with its box. Anyway, there you go. That is it for the Copper Zippo. Now, onto this one. This is a Zippo that I have been wanting ever since it came out. It actually came out, I believe, in 2013, or was it 20? Oh, it came out in 2014. Yeah, that's right. This came out. This is actually a model from 2014, and I've been wanting it ever since it came out. And I finally got around to getting it today because Smoky Mountain Knife Works just has really, really good discounts uh, on their models. Now, the model name was actually unexpected to me. It's actually, as you can see, it's model 28809 Luxury Waves. I'm not going to tell you what I thought it was yet because I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to tell you what I thought it was. But yeah, I did not expect it to be called Luxury Waves. I thought it would be called something else. You can see I got paid $35.99 for it. So, not bad. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ready? Ba boom This one. I thought this one would be called Nautical Waves because that seems to be what Amazon lists it as. I think whenever I look up Nautical Waves on Amazon, it actually pulls this one up. I always thought it was called Nautical Waves, but apparently not. It is actually called Luxury Waves. You can see it actually retails for 50 bucks. Good grief. That is definitely a premium price. You'll actually see this is an armor model. The distinctive, well, you know what that means. Basically the armor models, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is gonna be a little bit thicker and a little bit chunkier than your average Zippo lighter. You can see the bottom stamp. Oh, well that's interesting. For 2016, they kind of changed things up a bit. You got the little armor right here. You'll see that this actually will symbolize and resemble that this this model is actually 1.5 has a case that's 1.5 times thicker than that of a standard Zippo case. So it feels heavy out of the box. It, it's a little bit substantially heavier actually. It's actually gonna be a little bit shorter. That's one thing that a lot of people don't touch on, but it's a little bit shorter. So it's just sturdier, stockier, and just all around just feels really, really good in the hand and it feels really, really good to carry it around. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna carry this one around actually. I kinda wanna keep it nice. But you can see right here we've got Again, $49.95, let's go and take that off. Comes up real easily because it's, it's on that pattern. All right, set this right there. I like to put my stickers behind the guarantee now just so they're out of sight. Used to be I'd just stick it here, but I kind of like to keep them out of sight now. Peel it up kind of like that because the new stickers seem to like degrade the instant you bend them in some extreme manner. Yeah, nice, nice and clean. You'll notice rocking back and forth a little bit. I'll show you why that is in a little bit. This is actually one of Zippo's fancy crystal lighters. Not really sure what that bottom word's trying to be. Zippo Liz, Lizity? What? Cause it looks like it kind of printed wrong, actually. I believe the other tags I saw were actually printed correctly. Like that, it didn't do that, but you can see it's called Swarovski, all right? It's got a Swarovski on it. What does that mean? Well, if you take a look in the middle of this compass, you will see there is a little crystal. Isn't that great? So that is what a Swarovski Zippo is. It's just got a little, it's got a little crystal in it. You can feel it. It, it protrudes a little bit. That's actually one reason why I don't really want to carry this because I don't want that to fall out. And also, I don't really think that'd be very comfortable poking me in the pocket. But Boom, there you go. Got a slightly thicker case, like I said, 1.5 times thicker, so it does sound a little funny, sounds a little bit muted when you open it. But I do kind of like the way the armors sound, to be honest, it just sounds kind of, I, I, I think it still sounds quite satisfying, so. There you go. You can see we've got some nice water right here, making a nice wavy pattern on it. And we got a compass here. No like directional markings on it, but uh, yeah, very, very cool. I'm a big fan of it. And, uh, just so you can see here on the inside, you can, it's kind of hard to tell actually when you're looking at it, but it is, it is slightly thicker, thicker. All right. It's just, again, a little bit harder to tell. So I don't know. There you go. So yeah, there you go, guys. That I think is going to do it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys my two new Zippos. And uh, again, you can see again, the, the, Swarovski branding right there. 
So yeah, we've got a antique brass slim. No, I'm, I'm sorry. We've got a, we've got a copper slim right here. I believe this is copper. I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is a copper Zippo. I'm just I don't really want to peel this off to double check, but I mean it looks like copper. It it is like it seems to be copper plated. So I'm like the uh, the insert seems to be copper plated. So I am 99% sure that this is actually a copper Zippo, unless if somebody is like, no, it's actually copper plated, or there's a chance it can be copper plated, at which point maybe then I'd probably pull off the, but I don't think Zippo ever did that. <laughs> and then I also have the nautical waves, or I'm sorry, the luxury waves. Again, kind of a weird model name for it, did not expect that. This, by the way, this pattern here is incredibly grippy. I mean, good grief. If, if you rub this for like maybe five minutes, your skin would start to peel off. It is incredibly aggressive. You can probably see that a little bit. It is incredibly aggressive, which is not a bad thing. That's actually nice. That means, it, you know, if you do want to pull it out of your pocket, you got a good grip on it. It's not going to fall out of your hands on accident. So anyway, guys, I do believe that is going to do it for this video. Like I said, so just wanted to show these off to you. Thank you guys so, so very much for watching and adios.